What's going on everybody? This is Casey Supreme with Internet Money. Today I'm doing a tutorial on automation in FL Studio. And I'm going to kind of go through different ways you can use automation and you know what it is and how it works. So let's just start off talking about what it is. Um, basically automation means you are, you are uh, making something automatic. So everything in FL Studio is considered a parameter pretty much. So like this on or off switch that turns on or off the track in the playlist, that's a parameter that you could potentially automate. Uh, or in other words, make automatic. So let's go to the mixer. There's tons of parameters all over this. The on off switches, pan knob, you know, fader, stereo separation knob, and then you know each effect that you drag into here has its own parameters such as mix knob on or off button that you can also automate and then within the the effect itself you can automate things like you know all these parameters so let's get rid of that um, so that's basically what automation is you're taking one of these parameters and you're telling it to automatically either turn off or on or move left or right or up or down at a certain point that you determine in the track. So let's talk about the most common use of automation that pretty much a lot of people use in their beats. Pretty much everyone uses them. But um, let's talk about the master volume automation. And the reason you'd want to automate the master volume is to create a fade in or fade out effect at the beginning or the end of your track. Basically so it slowly fades out at the end. Um, and there's two ways you can do this. You can automate the master volume fader in the mixer or what I prefer is actually this fader up here which is the master volume fader as well so let's say we want to automate this uh, this pattern right here let's say it's a full tracked out beat I know it's not but let's just pretend it is for a second for the sake of the tutorial um, I'm gonna right click this volume fader and I'm gonna do create automation clip as you can see right here it's created a master volume automation clip now this clip is basically visually representing on a graph um, the level at which this volume fader is at. So as you can see there's a little space here that's the same space here. It's basically visually represented so if we move it down to here as you can see this has now moved down to there. So it's basically visually representing that. So let's reset it back to normal. Let's see and so let's create a fade out at the end here. So basically what we want to do is Let's see. Go to the end of the track, zoom in a little bit, and let's say we want to create a fade out starting here. So we'd want to right click the automation clip at that point. So now we've created a new point at which we can manipulate. So now we can drag this point down. And basically, what that's telling it to do is to gradually decrease this volume until it's all the way down. Now, in between two points, there's always a shape. Um, a thing that you can change the tension with and that's basically going to create a more severe curve or a less severe curve so it, you know if you have it normal it's just going to be a steady decline whereas you can pull it up a little bit to make it a more gradual decline or all the way down to make it like sharper so it goes right down so for master volume automation I usually like to leave it pretty close to normal just maybe boost it up a little bit to make it a little smoother another thing you need to be careful with with master volume automation is um, you don't want your master volume to fluctuate so you want to right click this first point copy value and you want to paste it to this one right here because you want to make sure throughout your whole track um, it remains consistent right now it's very it's very subtle but there's actually an incline up to this point because this point's technically higher than this point so we just want to paste that value to make sure it's a straight line consistent until the point in which we want to manipulate it. So now if we play this little clip um, you'll hear it fade out. So at the end of the track that's something you'd want to do. Um, let's talk about the next way you can use automation if you have an effect. So on the master volume I have a fruity love filter which is basically adding that underwater effect. I've done a tutorial on it before but let's say during this part of the track we want it to come on and then turn off after this point. Basically automation clips work based on where you select so the length will be determined by how much you have selected. So if we want to go here um, 
you know this button right here means it's on during the whole song so we want to make sure we turn it off initialize song with this position and then we want to create an automation clip for this on off switch so we're going to create automation clip and as you can see right here it's only as long as the area I have selected so that's kind of handy um, so you don't have to sit there and drag it back down to where you want it so now for this shape we want to create a rectangle so we're just going to right click and kind of move these points around until we get a shape like this and basically what that's telling the effect is is to come on at this point and then shut off at this point so if I play this now you can hear that the effect takes effect at that point <laughs> the effect takes effect but you know what I mean um, so if we watch this what's actually happening is if I play the track here watch this button see how it came on at that point because that's what the automation clips telling it to do and another thing you can automate is the mix level so say we don't want it to be such a drastic drop off like it just turns right back off um, we want it to gradually kind of fade off kinda of like we did the master volume we're gonna do the same thing with this mix knob so we're, all we're gonna do is uh, make sure we have this area selected right click the mix knob create automation clip and now we just want to create a point you know maybe like here and drag this down kinda of the same thing we want to make sure we copy this value right here paste it there and we don't want such a steep uh, drop we're gonna kinda smooth it out like this so now if I pull up the mixer and watch what happens is this is slowly gonna fade down it's gonna go like this so let's see and you know you can make it more drastic by moving the point back um, you know like this so it's more gradual of a decline um, but yeah that's something you can do to kind of smooth out the effect um, so yeah so let's move on to the next type of automation which would be using automation within a VST so there's a difference between native FL Studio VSTs and third-party VSTs like Nexus for example um, and the difference is the FL Studio native VSTs have automation built in basically meaning it's a lot easier to do so let's just talk about um, you know FL Studio native plugin first so let's go to an area where we don't have any effects so basically what we have here is um, you know we have this MIDI playing this sound and we can tweak any of these parameters and automate them okay so let's basically find something that we can automate in here um, I mean you could do the volume all kinds of stuff let's see okay let's just use this as an example this isn't necessarily something you'd want to automate but I'm just gonna use it as an example to show you how you would do it so let's uh, right click this knob or this fader I should say create automation clip so now we have an automation clip that changes this so let's create a shape for it now and see what kind of sounds we can get so let's just right click on each of these uh, you know lines on the beat whoops and now we can move it to different shapes like this and if you want to visually see basically what's happening watch this watch this area as this plays so we're just telling this fader to move in that shape so you can get some really interesting effects that way um, crazy sounds different sounds a lot of you know EDM producers use automation to you know they can even use it to sidechain or create weird sounds with their sense like that so that's something you can do now let's talk about how you do it in third-party plugins so let's play this so 
got a pad open in Nexus. Now let's say we want to create an automation clip for the cutoff. So we want to do this basically. You can get rid of this by the way. Because it is not affecting Nexus, it's only affecting uh, Harmless, which is the FL Studio native plugin. So if we want to do the same thing in Nexus, we can't just right click this, it doesn't work. You know, you can't right click a parameter and just do create automation clip. So what you have to do is you want to find the parameter you want to create an automation clip for and you have to tweak it like this, you have to move it. And you want to make sure you don't touch anything else after you do this. So you want to move this. Then you're going to go up here to tools, you're going to go to last tweaked, and you're going to see it says Nexus Master Cutoff, which is pretty much what we're moving, Master Filter Cutoff. Um, and then you just want to do create automation clip. So now we've created an automation clip for the third party plugin. So we want, we want it to slowly start from nothing and rise up like this. See it moving here. So that pretty much sums it up. There's tons of ways you can use automation. You can get really creative. You know, you can you can automate every single parameter in here to change at certain times. You can get really complex with it. Um, I tend to keep it more simple using kind of the methods I've just shown you but now that you know how it works you can go apply it to your beats and you can get really really creative and detail with it so I hope you guys understand automation a little bit better and the different ways that you can use it um, you know leave a like leave a comment all that kind of stuff if you appreciate this video and I'll be back with more FO Studio tutorials in the future and definitely more cook up videos so once again I'm Casey Supreme from Internet Money and I'm out